so there are people in this life so no no yeah you want to you want to find the people to help you stop the bleeding for your succeeding i don't know what the line is it's your line <laughs> okay i know there you go there it is <laughs> friends and welcome to motivation Monday I am Shani and I am here to motivate you you're welcome today I am NOT alone in the studio of my living room I have a very special guest my husband Danny Put it right there so today we would like to talk to you about where babies come from <laughs> you do yeah, okay. and somehow tied into motivating you. So let's get into it. So, as most of you know, babies come from vaginas. And Wait, when the vagina. Yeah. Oh. I knew when, that. When the baby comes out of the vagina, it usually makes the mother bleed similar to this color. And so we thought it would be appropriate to Wait, wear red. Wait, that's how we're wearing red? Yes. We have to match the topic. Vaginas are red when they push out a baby. Have you ever seen it? No. I have. They get very red. So today, we thought that we would discuss the miracle of birth and discuss how it is tied in to our daily lives of the bloods that happen in our life that it's blood, but it's something good comes out of the blood. So if you're thinking right now, oh, I am covered in blood, think of the goodness that's going to come <laughs> out of it. You have got a baby inside of you, ready to emerge out of your vagina, and the blood is just what's covering it for now. But later, you're going to be able to find some water and some hot towels, and to wipe off all the blood and find the baby, the perfect miracle that is inside of you. So, so you got to bleed first. <laughs> you got to bleed in order and to succeed. Then you really? <laughs> wow. Got to okay. bleed to succeed, my friends. And so when you succeed with bleeding, sometimes the husband is there to see the vagina, have the baby come out of the vagina, and the husband is on a different end of it literally because he's not the one bearing the child out of his vagina because he doesn't have a vagina so he is the one that is witnessing the pain and the uncomfortableness and the blood that comes out of his precious wife and sometimes that and can i be... succeed from that you bleed i succeed I was going to say, <laughs> but sometimes that's hard for the husband to watch the wife bleed, right? Yes. Sometimes it's, diff it's a good thing to have different perspectives <coughs> in life, and you might be the one pushing out the baby out your vagina, and you might be the one that's looking at the vagina. But either way, there is a vagina, and the blood will come out, and so will the little miracle inside. Your turn. I need a drink. I... Sometimes you're the doctor who delivers the baby. Yes. Yes. And okay. who helps stop the bleeding yes. for the succeeding. Mm -hmm. And those are the people represented in our lives that can help you so there are people in this life so no no yeah you want to you want to find the people to help you stop the bleeding for your succeeding i don't know what the line is it's your line <laughs> okay i know there you go there it is now some of you out there might actually need a literal doctor 
So the thing that you need to focus on is finding the right doctor for yourself and utilizing the tools that the doctor was given in the medical schooling to bring forth some light that maybe you did not think of ahead of time. And until then, if the man is not going to bleed out of his vagina, which we don't have, then he really has no say in the way that that precious baby is cleaned. And except he does because we love him. Right. So when I push a baby out my vagina, right. I expect you to say, Shani, that is a bloody baby, but my goodness, that is a miracle. We're not having a baby, by the way. We're not? N well, not right now. You're not telling them yet? Are you trying to get people freaked out? Yes. We're not pregnant, okay? So just relax. Everybody, relax. But stay motivated. So in conclusion, I would hope that after the baby is shot out from your vagina, that you may find the tools in your life to clean and wipe off and bathe and protect and dress and carry home your baby so that the baby will be not done bleeding and succeeding to succeed and that you may remember that every time you are on your period and not having a baby you're gonna see blood but you're not gonna get a miracle out of it except maybe a couple of clots and so it is up to you my friends to decide what am I going to allow those clots to do to my life today what am I going to say if two, two ginormous quarter-sized clots come out of my vagina? What am I going to say? If you're out there and you don't know where babies come from, might I suggest... Spoiler alert. <laughs> Googling... No, don't do sex that. No. And how babies no. are born. No, don't Google any of Go that. Go to Google no. and push in no. how babies are born. Don't do that. Go ask your mom or dad. They'll tell you the truth. Go ask your mom and dad. And may we all remember the old time saying of every time you hear a bell ring, an angel gets its wings. We love you and thank you for watching. Are you on drugs right now? <laughs> Welcome to Motivation Month. What are you wearing? You said wear red. This is all the red I own. <laughs> and so may you remember that even if your baby is covered in blood, <laughs> I hope you're all very motivated right now. I really do. I know I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say good luck and just buckle up. You're so beautiful. You can get your beard all red. Well, don't kiss my beard. <laughs> it barely even came off. No, bull crap, look at that. And to strengthen the testicles of my husband. Because we both have balls. Is this too far? I don't know where <laughs> the line is, so I can't tell you where too far is. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Can somebody tell us where the line is so that we can't go and cross it? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's running off into the field over it there. Right at the beginning. So whether or not you have hairy testicles or smooth ovaries inside of your body. Wait, do ours have hair on it? No, I hope not. Are you sure? I'm pretty damn sure. Why not? Because they're inside. Babies are inside and they come out with hair? Yes, but 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 that's on a on their head. You don't No, no, no. The hair Oh, oh fine. Judas. Whether you have hairy balls or bald balls like us, me. <laughs> there goes that line again right at the damn door. Subscribe.